Hey, hey Virgo, this is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, August 27th to the 28th Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right down below there, Virgo, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. If you're, um, what was I going to say? If this resonates with you, <laughs> comment please. I'm going to get a channeled message in just one moment. And then... We can continue on with tarot. And I also have the Untold Messages of the Heart by Aqua Moonlight's deck. I love it. So I used it yesterday. People seem to be very much liking it. So I'm going to use it again today as clarifiers. Okay. So let's see. I have one more for Virgo going on for Virgo. And my third eye is going nuts right now with you, Virgo. Okay. Wow. We've got the Four of Swords, the Fool card, the King of Wands, and the King of Swords, the bottom of the deck, the High Priestess. Okay. Let's see what Spirit has for you, Virgo. See what's up. Represent yourself, Virgo, in a way that makes you happy, that you're satisfied with. They're saying don't do it based on what you feel other people want to see you as. Because this is pulling from your unique qualities. This is pulling from the unique you that you are. And it's diminishing your light. Don't diminish your light, Virgo. Be you. Doesn't matter what that you is. It's you. And that's beautiful. So be it. Don't compromise it. Okay? Don't alter it. Okay. Thank you. What are you keeping secret, Virgo? Are you keeping something secret or is somebody else keeping a secret? I'm feeling like, what is it? Is this Virgo? Is this Virgo? Okay. Hmm, Virgo. Very intuitive right now. Maybe that's why my third eye was going. Oh, well, still is. I'm feeling. It's funny, when this happens, it makes my glasses cold, believe it or not. It's weird. I get this coolness that comes all across here. And it, like, cools my glasses, which cool my nose, and it's very strange. But, but it's cool. All right. So you're wanting to take a leap of faith after a period of rest. I feel like, Virgos, you've been healing. Okay. Um, I feel like... There's something that you want to manifest, and that could be the reason for the high priestess here, right? Not saying anything, just going and manifesting. And taking this leap of faith, this could be in love, this could be in career, we're going to clarify in a moment. But you also have Libra here, Gemini, Aquarius, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You've got a king of swords and a king of wands. And the King of Swords is very intense from what I'm feeling. It is like, I feel like this King of Swords wants to communicate with you. And this King of Wands actually feels defeated. I'm not sure why. Okay, so. Oh, that's funny. The Fool is clarified by the Queen of Wands. See, now this is interesting, Virgo. 
The King of Wands is giving me the energy that they're defeated. They're almost giving up, which which this this makes sense, right? Because you're looking right at the Queen of Wands, a King of Wands, and you're the Queen of Wands, the, the divine counterparts, right? So I feel like they almost let go, and now they're about to manifest in you because you're looking right at them. The King of Swords, they may want to communicate with you, but I don't see you really longing for them at all. But let's see. Tell me about this Four of Swords. Yeah, there's been this waiting going on. Perhaps these two kings were waiting for you. And this was one of the things that you went within to look at your desires and what you want. Tell me about this King of Wands. Because he seems really defeated. He's sad. Oh, he's been reminiscing. This could be somebody from the past, right? That you had a romantic relationship with. But he's reminiscing about all of the good memories. And... It's like that's, I, he just said, that's all I have. That's all I have. So they don't have you yet. So all they can do is reminisce on the Six of Cups energy. And I love this energy. It is so sweet. It is a very innocent love. It's a very caring love. It's, I love it. What do you think about this King of Wands? What are you thinking about this King of Wands? Yep. You want to invest time and energy into them. You're willing to be patient. You're willing to wait for it to grow. Right? What does this King of Swords want to communicate to you about? What does this King of Swords want to say? What does this King of Swords want to say to Virgo right now? Oh, I think they're at a distance, but they're on their way to you. This King of Swords, what do they want? This, yeah, they're going to tell you that you are their wish. And I feel like you're going to tell them you're not, basically. Wow. They really feel like they have this divine connection with you. Wow. Okay. So we're going to get some messages now. Okay. We're going to get some messages from this King of Wands first to you, Virgo. So what does this King of Wands want to say to well, Virgo? Seed, I will be writing you a message. Okay. What else does this King of Wands want to say? That says letter, by the way. I get to remember that. Battle. I've tried my best to move on, but I can't seem to let you go. That's that defeated. I almost feel like a Nine of Wands energy. Um, that's what I felt. Space. I need to take a step back because I am still trying to figure out what I want. Nervous. You make me lose my cool and I just don't know how to act in your presence. They're nervous when they're around you, Queen of Wands. Obligations. I want to get away from the burdens I have to deal with, but I'm stuck right now. Maybe that's why they feel defeated. Maybe something's got their attention that is serious. Freedom. I can't be tied down right now. I have too many interests. Ooh. See, but I'm feeling they're defeated. Maybe I, I really truly feel that they gave up. Rejection. I'm uneasy about myself. I don't know if I can truly make you happy. Yeah, this king has been questioning since you've been gone. This is why I feel these messages are coming through. Um, I feel like it's it's almost making them feel better to say these things. To say, you know, I need to take a step back because I'm still trying to figure out what I want. 
Not in your case, because I can tell you right now this king wants you. So if they're writing you a letter, I feel like they're doing this so subliminally. They'll uh, tell themselves, okay, now I can, you know, it's my permission slip to, to let go because I need space and I don't know what I want. Um, they're trying to literally talk themselves out of it because they feel like they're going to be rejected by you. Tell me about the King of Swords. What does the King of Swords have to say? <laughs> Sensitive. Thinking about you makes me emotional. And I want to open up to you about how I am feeling. Well, they're about to. They will. What else does this King of Swords want to say? Broken. The damage has already been done. And I don't know how to pick the pieces up. What else? No strings. I want you close to me, but I'm not ready for a commitment. Clingy. Feeling trapped pushes me away. Please give me some space. I don't think... Oh, these cards fly everywhere. Sorry, please accept my apology so we can move past this. Regrets. I should have. I could have. I would have. Virgo. One more for the King of Swords. And then we're going to get your messages to the King of Wands and the King of Swords. Lesson. I didn't know what I had until you were gone. Lesson learned. It's always too late, right? It's hard habit to break. Thoughts. I've been in my head about you constantly. Okay. So let's get your messages from the to the King of Wands within a few months. So I feel like you're thinking about stepping to the King of Wands within a few months. I feel like you'll get the letter before then. Tell me more. What does the Queen of Wands want to say to the King of Wands? Forbidden. Even though we shouldn't, I still want you. Why? Is the King of Wands a forbidden fruit? Virgo? Mm -hmm. Codependency, I need you. Guilt, hurting you was never my intention, but now it's hurting me too. Wow. What happened here? What else? Finances, I'm busy with work right now and it requires my attention. That's a distraction for you. You, you and I both know that's true. Virgo, I feel like you guys are both scared here. It's fear. Anger. I'm upset and I need some time to cool down. Yeah, I feel like you're really drawn to this King of Wands and they're really drawn to you. There's a lot of passion between you guys. Very hot sexual energy I'm feeling. Love. My heart is opening and I'm ready. Okay, so what do you have to say to the King of Swords? Influences. I'm distracted right now. No oh, shit. By the King of Wands. What else do you have to say? The King of Swords. I just want to have fun with you. I feel like you want to be friends with this um, King of Swords. Oops. Jealousy. I feel like you moved on without me, and that's difficult for me to see. It may be difficult for you to transition from more than a friend to not so much. Listen, I am telling you the truth. You can trust my words. Okay. One more. Oh, two more. Foolish. Oh, wait a minute. A couple of them. We've got why. 
I don't know what has happened between us. If you're confused, I'm confused too. Foolish. I feel like an idiot for the, the choices I've made. I wasn't thinking clearly at the time. In choice. I'm trying to make a very difficult decision and it involves you. Uh-huh. So, at the bottom of the deck, we have shared energies with all involved. Oh. Rejection. I'm uneasy about myself. I don't know if I can truly make you happy. So, you're all thinking this. Oh, wait. Uh, let me read the one underneath because I'm not sure if that accidentally picked up over there. Moving on, I feel like we both need to go our separate ways for a while. Seems like everybody may, right? Maybe you need some space. Maybe you need, you all need to grow before anybody makes a decision. Although I do feel you have a lot of passion towards this king and no matter what this king says, um... He's constantly thinking about you. He's constantly thinking about you. You are a passive soulmate to this king of wands, Virgo. Make no mistake about that. All right, Virgo. I hope this helped. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already have not If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info's in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know how you like this reading, how you like the new deck. I do appreciate it. Have yourself a fantastic day, Virgo, and I will catch you on the flip side on the daily read tomorrow. Namaste.